All right, what you're looking at right here is a Unit 1020A drag line. Now, I know this machine inside out, and I'm going to take you around and show you all about this machine. So, let's get started. Now, under here in the weeds, you can see it is a chain-driven machine, like all machines of this era. And you can see where the old unit logo used to be. We're going to come up in here and show you the engine here. It's been fitted with a Detroit 371 diesel engine. Now, this is a two-cycle diesel engine. It's three-cylinder, and it's in line. Here's your back door on the unit crane. When you come back here, you can see that you're fitted out with... Here's your two clutches here to operate it. And I'll show you the control panel. This is your ether preheater injector, your starter, which is right here, and this is the emergency stock. And this is where you put the ether in and pump it down in the engine to preheat it. This right here is the engine's throttle. See, it's got a couple different settings. Now out here, I'll take a seat here. This is your control setup on the unit. This is your reversing, reversing shaft. It controls your swing, boom, and travel functions. This is the drag. This is the hoist. This is your master clutch. This engages either the travel or swing. Pull it back to travel and push it forward to swing. This engages the boom. Pull it forward to disengage. Pull it back to engage. This is your tracks. Travel one direction, travel the other direction, and center is just traveling straight. Here's your two foot pedals. These control your drag and hoist, which st stops it and prevents the cable from free freewheeling out after you would pull it in. So you'd pull on the clutch, which engages over here, and once you've got it back to the proper place where you want it, step on your pedal and release the clutch. You're good to go. You know, it's got a tilting seat and roll-up windows. And here's your glass panes for up here. It's got both the glass still there. And I showed you your controls. Just shut the door here. Now in here is your worm gear off of your Detroit. And that's the back of your gauge panel. I'm going to step down here. Here's your counterweight on the 1020A your radiator back in here you see it's got unit and it used to have a non-slip grip padding on it but it's worn off over the years very wide crawlers this machine used to do a lot of bog work so that's why the owner picked a unit I'll show you the other side here's your Detroit I'll show you a couple things on this this is where you put your oil in this is where the ether preheater injects into your blower assembly and here's your filters. Right down there is your diesel fuel cap and your two clutches. Now if you see in there that middle shaft, that's where a reversing shaft would go if this machine was set up with a shovel front, which it is not. Right there is an oil bath air cleaner. i shut this door right here. Now all these can be, these covers can be locked down with a wing nut and a master lock can go through here so vandals don't get in, but obviously right now she's parked and it really don't matter. All units came equipped with a toolbox, and right now it's just filled with junk. Extra chain link in there. Here's where your two controls that I showed you inside connect over and linkage back and control other functions on the machine. Here's your drag line fair lead, your gear case, and your two drums. Here's your data on the machine. Your serial number, date of build, and plates. Here's your exhaust, your boom hoist cable that comes out, and a nice little horn. Here's your A-frame gantry with your boom supports, which are no longer connected. I'm going to jump around here. So here's your fair lead drag cable that comes out. And here's where your boom support guides would connect, way up there. Here's your boom brindle right here, which is in charge of running the parts in the line to raise and lower the boom. Now at one point, if you see these eye lugs right here, this machine used to have a folding boom, but the owner here put in an extra section, extra two sections, I'm sorry, and here's where that other eye section would connect. They would stick into each other, and when they transport this machine, you could literally fold the boom inward. So that's just something cool that they added on so they could get farther out with the bucket. Here's your 
end of your drag line boom and here's where it says unit two sheaves out in front you can see out here over the ears the boom's got quite a wiggle in it here's your Hendrix drag line bucket now this is either a three-quarter yard or a one yard bucket I'm not exactly sure but it's kind of stuck in here here's where the owner tagged his bucket F.O. Boyle whoever that is whoever owns this machine and here's where the shackle is that leads out to your drag line you're gonna go up here and show you your tracks on this side and the front view of the controls oh one lever I forgot to mention this is your swing lock this is your throttle and you know that's just about it so thanks for watching walk around on this machine I really appreciate it anybody's interested leave comments let me know what you think so thanks this is unit crane 514 signing out and thanks for all your support